Hey guys, what up? This is SpearMong187 and welcome back for a new match of Shadow Era. Let's give the opponent high and have fun. And yeah, welcome back. So we're going to play Banebone again. Banebow, sorry. And we have quite a amount of rating gathered, so we have a little 282. 20,000 score points. I know I'm not going to make it this month, but in January I will try to get some more rating. And this is probably also the last video for this year. Uh, let's see, he's dropping a Puman. We want to keep in hand the Shriek of Engines, so we're going to get rid of the Soul Seeker, I think. Let's see, we've got two of them. We want to keep this to draw some cards. The Soul Seeker or the Poison Arrow. Mm. Let's keep. I do want to keep. It's coming with a Jasmine probably. Next turn or an Alden. Let's get rid of the Soul Seeker. Let's drop the, uh, the Karash and then turn. So I really have a great success with this Bainbow deck. And in January I'm going to play this Bainbow for sure. I really like the uh, the ability of Bainbow, and yeah, strange enough, this deck draws enough cards. I do think I only play two sacrificial lamps, and the armor that says whenever an ally uh, I control gets killed, draw a card. So those are the only two with the with the weapon that costs six resources at the end of the turn. If you have one ally in play, draw a card. Yeah, this sucks. I already thought that this would happen. And that's crap. So let's see what we are going to do about it. This is actually a nice draw. Mm -hmm. So we could destroy the Puin, give two damage to his Alden, and next turn we would kill the Alden. So let's get rid of the Poison Arrow. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Let's get rid of that. And I always love the to save this ability but now I really need to use it at the, in the early game. And it's not bad using the ability but I do like when I have like four or six four five six shadow energy stored. It's always a nice backup. And with this Bainbow deck you can do lots of damage in one turn. You can shoot for two, you can attack with your weapon sometimes and even with an ally or with a death mage you can Use your ability. Well, that's gone now. We are not going to use our dead mage. <laughs> but he's also almost out of cards. He got only two cards left in his hand, so. Um, well, are we going to sacrifice something? Um, I don't think so. I'm going to play this one, and he's going to destroy it next turn. It doesn't matter. Then after that we're going to play a new Morbid Acolyte. It has 5 defense, so it's a pretty solid ally. Here comes his Tainted Oracle, that sucks. He's going to draw some cards. Destroy my Morbid Acolyte. No, he's not. He's going to leave it into play. That's nice. That's nice. So we can sacrifice it. Uh, what do we want to do? We going? To I think I'm going to sacrifice the Shriek of Vengeance. I do want to keep some allies, though. Or mm. yeah, let's get rid of it. Let's draw some cards. It's now still in, in play, so. Uh, what do you want to do? Do you want to use this poison arrow? I do think we're going to use it. Yep, let's disable Zaldan. Let's take a little bit less damage. So yeah, the Banebow deck it almost got everything. It got damage from his ability, it got card draw, and it got health regen with the Soul Seeker. Hmm. So there comes the stone. And we do want that thing gone as soon as possible. So let's get let's get rid of the stone. Um, I think I'm going to play this one first. 
this one's also pretty nice because but he's going to run him into it use yeah we're going to use this one and I prefer playing the acolyte because he can disable the tainted oracle but mm, shall we blow it up? no we don't need to blow it up I think let's just enter anyhow let's see what he's going to do he's going to give me two damage or do one damage to my gargoyle he's going to give me two damage it's fine and four more and it sucks <laughs> 17 now so we are going to destroy the gargoyle or just not yet hmm. we could play this right after forest would say I would take one damage less and hope that he's not running into the gargoyle or gain three life right away mm, let's play the armor and give him two smacks in his face first damage first blood for him he got many cards in his hand four resources four cards so we're still pretty equal only I lost uh, quite a big amount of health because his early play was so good by destroying my crush with his turn 2 Puin and turn 3 Alden that was really a big hit for me and after that he took out the dead mage pretty easily so that was a little bit of a bummer but we're still not dead we have some life gain and we're preventing still a little bit of damage See, there comes a Christopher Wild. Well, that's nice, we can finish that off with our Soul Seeker. Mm. Yeah, I don't think they play Sapphire Armor or Snow Armor, whatever it's called. So let's just use this here and kill this one. We have to kill it eventually, so let's kill this one first. So you won't attack with the. Uh, with it to the gargoyle to prevent me gaining some life and if you would attack with the crystal wild with the gargoyle it wouldn't do any damage so that's why I choose the tainted oracle to, uh, to destroy the tainted oracle first because if you go, he's going to draw the cards anyway now it sucks but we have still uh, some health left and I do think I only saw one fireball and two lightning strikes, I think. We'll have to check his graveyard next turn to see uh, which burn cards he already used. Because they can deal a lot of damage, those mages. Let's see what he's going to do. He's, he's not thinking about what he's going to sacrifice. There goes my leyline nexus. Okay, it's good that I have a second soul seeker here. There goes my gargoyle. Going to be frozen. Let's hope we draw something good. Well, what would we like to draw? I do not know. And that mage, okay, that's nice. Well, we got lots of shadow energy, but we have no targets at the moment. And our armor still has one durability left. So he really has to come with a with a big ally to to do something against me. Because I can deal two damage with my ability. That's what I uh, told you guys before in this match. Two damage with my ability, two damage with Soul Seeker, and one ping damage from my death damage. So everything with five defense, I can kill easily without taking damage myself. And yeah, I'm at 18 health again, so. But we really need to draw some cards soon because he drew really too many cards. I just drew three for my sacri sacrificial lamp. Here comes a crystal for a wild. He's going to remove the durability from my armor. That sucks. Or he's going to destroy. No, he's not going to destroy. He's not stupid. Now he's giving me three health again. That's nice. So next turn we do two damage to his Alden. And we are going to hit the Alden in the face for three more health. So 
So now I'm actually at more health than he does. He has 20 health and I'm at 23. And I still have one durability left, yep. One durability left. And let's play the Morbid Acolyte. And the reason why I play the Morbid Acolyte and not the um, Dead Mage is because I can use his ability next to an Ant Lady Dead Mage. So this is still a little bit of a surprise. Dealing one damage. And yeah, having a Morbid Acolyte in play that can attack right away next to him. It's always nice. But he has five cards, so I guess he got a solution for that. Doing five damage to the both of us. Okay, that's fine. Well, we are not going to play the terror, I think. Let's just cast this uh, this damage, dealing one damage, taking down to 14. And I'll just save this up for one more turn. Next turn, I'm going to attack, I think. Then it would be at 10 health if my death mage survives. And let's just see what he's going to draw. Oh, a tome of knowledge. Wow. I do not like that at this point of the game. He got so many resources, he can draw cards every turn now. Let's hope he plays the seductress. Yep, so he's not going to draw a card. And he made the arrow about uh, he's not going to disable my death mage, so that's nice as well. And we are going to skip this. We are going to do two damage to him, two damage to his ally, and we're going to hit her in the face. Gaining three life for ourselves, hit him in the face, take him down to ten. And we are going to play the feathered longbow. Yep. And then turn. That tome of knowledge is really annoying. I've gained some health, but he's really outdrawing me here. Another priest of light. Two priests of light. Okay, that's nice for him. <laughs> Well, 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 my Fury and Terror will die if I play it this turn, so I have to play it next turn to finish off both of those Priests of Lights because they are going to attack me. Um, oh, we're going to skip our sacrifice. Um, do we want to play this Karash? I don't know. Or we could finish off one Priest of Light. Uh, no, we cannot finish that. We have not our ability ready. Hmm. Well, let, let's hit him in the face for two. Bring him down to ten again. Mm, let's drop out. Do we want to or not? I don't know, man. It's going to die for sure. Well, let's drop it. We'll see what happens. And this tome of knowledge is really annoying. Ah, oh, there comes lightning strike for some more damage. Hmm. He's drawing a card. I got only three cards that can remove it, and I only already played one. But it's already too late, maybe, if I would draw it to destroy it. I don't know. I, have to, I just have to use my ability on the both of them. Oh no, I don't need my ability on the both of them, because he's going to attack me. And when he attacks, no, he does not attack. Okay, that's fine by me. So what we are going to do, we are going to deal two damage to the both of them. And play our Fury and Terror. Get rid of them both. There's one Lightning Strike, one Fireball, two Lightning Strike, one Fireball. So 
He has lots of fireballs left. This one, uh, the Shriek of Vengeance. I always mix up the cards, sorry about that. Played the game for two, three years now, but <laughs> I also mix up the name, always mix up the names and forget the names. But this card, the perfect shot I only play. Yeah, I play two or three of them. And I'm thinking about removing one, but it really saved my ass against some elemental decks and some other decks. So, okay, let's skip this. Let's play this. Let's destroy him. I always want board control. Don't know why, but I want him dead. But Antonia. So now he has to use a fireball on it, or yeah, his ability next turn. But oh, what a match! This tome of knowledge is really kicking my ass. Here comes a fireball, taking it down, and I have two useless cards in my hand, especially against uh, a mage. There is the Shriek of Vengeance. Well, let's destroy it. And we'll end turn. So now we need some top decks. And what I really would love to see is a, is a weapon. We really could use a weapon. That's not nice. Tainted Oracle. Are we going to blow it up or are we going to swallow some damage? I do not want him to draw a card, but... I think we have no other option than destroying him. Hmm. Now we'll just enter. Let's see what he's going to do. Maybe he's going to run into the gargoyle, but I don't think so. I, I think he's going to freeze it and run into me. That's what I would have done in his place. I still have two cards in my hand, but they're so useless now. What a game. Yeah, well, these Bambo matches really are exciting. And with Amber Rain deck, uh, it was really quick rush, quick matches. And I still do think uh, she's one of, yeah, she's the best hero at the moment. You know, the other guy, the other warrior, Boris, he has uh, foreshadow area, foreshadow energy, destroy target, uh, destroy target ally cost 4 or less. This is really a good draw, yeah. Mm, let's see, what do we have here? Hmm. Well, well, well. Let's play this death mage. Give him one damage and destroy destroy his ally. Yeah, the Boar Skull Crush has a uh, ability that's pretty good. Four shadow energy, destroy target ally with cost four or less. But against Amber Rain, if you look at them, both heroes and Boris isn't bad, but uh, Amber Rain's ability with a, in combination with a jeweler's dream, she can destroy it has four durability, so it can destroy three up to three or four creatures, four allies. So it's much better than the ability from Boris. In combination with other cards, because if you just watch at the card alone, Boris, uh, the Skullcracker, uh, four shadow energy, destroy target ally with four or less uh, uh, resource cost. It's really good. And this attack is really crap. Uh, the Tainted Oracle, he drew too many cards, man. Mm. Yeah, we'll have to go for this combination, I think. Poo, 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 poo. Oh my god, he has two cards left. Um, I can deal him. Two damage this turn. He's going to three. I could kill him next turn. And he's going to deal me 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Let's say he has a fireball, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we are going to do this. We're going to cast this. We're going to disable him. And I think I have this one in the pocket. Not sure, but I do think so. So he's going, he's going to deal a lot of damage, I know. And he's going to remove this weapon. 
But next turn, have this Gruntus double. Let's ping away that uh, that Christopher Wild. Let's see what he has. Two fireballs, he can't kill me. I'm at one health then. So this is a win. This is a win. Yep, this is a win. So close. All of these paintball matches are so close, but... Nice, this is nice. Let's get rid of the perfect shot. Use the ability. And hit him in the face. And that's a GG. Yep, it looked so bad for me in the beginning and mid game, but we fought and we fought hard and we have won. So we gained some more rating, some more score points, but that doesn't matter. You need like 400,000 points. So I checked up. So yeah, next month will be a bit better, but uh, well, I hope you liked this match. Do not forget to like, subscribe, comment, and we'll see you next year. Cheers!